guys, welcome back to another episode of Tub Talks, a new season I should say because I kind of took a really long hiatus from Tub Talks, but I'm really excited to be filming again. I have so many ideas I want to share with you guys in this new season of Tub Talks, all about personal development, self-care, wellness. This is something that since I started Tub Talks, I really just dove head first into um, and I made a career out of it and so I've learned so much along the way and I'm still learning every day I'm learning and I have just a lot to share with you guys. So in today's episode I want to talk about holistic self-care and how to approach that, what that really looks like. Um, in my 200 YTT course I am learning about the four energetic bodies. And when I learned this, I realized that this is how we should also apply our self-care. Um, so just running through the four energetic bodies, your physical energetic body is where you're actually living life. It's reality. It's your physical body itself, but it's also the plane in which you take action. Um, and then you have the emotional energetic body and that's where you feel feelings that's where mindset comes in and then you have spirituality which that's where your belief system comes in that's where if you're religious your faith comes in whatever it is that you believe in and then you have the intellectual energetic body and this is what you're feeding your mind your knowledge what you're learning and taking in and so it's important that we think about our holistic self-care in terms of all four of these. Um, if you do a quick audit of how you practice self-care right now, you might notice that you're really only providing self-care to one of these energetic bodies. And so do a little audit. Take into account what it is you're currently doing right now to care for yourself. And think about these other energetic bodies. Have you abandoned them altogether? Are there certain things that you do do to feed these energetic bodies, to support these energetic bodies? Think about all four of these and how you can best love and support those parts of yourself. And that is holistic self-care. Another question to ask yourself is, are you limiting how you define these energetic bodies and how you then think of self-care for each of these. So for example, for your physical body, are you strictly thinking about that, about the body, about your fitness, about your nutrition? Or are you thinking of the physical in terms of it is where you live your everyday life, it is where action takes place? And if it's where action takes place, how can you best serve yourself to take that action, to feel good in taking that action? Um, so start to think a little bit outside the box of what each of these represents. For spirituality, for example, you might think that this is something strictly religiously based. It's not. Spirituality could be just getting really in tune with yourself, aligned with yourself, with the spiritual body that flows within you and from you. So think about it that way as well. So I just want you to take a different approach to thinking and considering how to care and support these four energetic bodies. And another way I want you to approach holistic self-care is to think of self-care beyond what it is that you practice every day to care for yourself. So beyond your gratitude practice, beyond your meditation practice, Think about your habits, your daily habits that you have throughout the day, when you go to work, when you're with friends. Think about how you form and structure your day. Find the opportunities for self-care in your daily habits. Um, so it's not something that you necessarily need to sit down and practice in order for your body to feel it. Sometimes self-care is just the habits that we make a part of our everyday, our rituals and our routines and how we live our life because moment to moment is where we see change and where we see growth. So it's important that you 
honor yourself and care for yourself each and every moment. And one thing that really helps with this is practicing mindfulness, not in terms of meditation, but more so in terms of being present and being aware in each and every moment. And so any time that you feel really energetically charged, um, especially in a negative direction, a negative emotion, take the time to practice mindfulness. Get present in the moment, look around and notice your surroundings, notice what you see in front of you, take in the sense around you, listen for what sounds are around you. And doing this is gonna really put you in the present moment. It's gonna help you center yourself, ground yourself, and come up off that energetic high and be a little more even keeled. And something as simple as that is how you can practice self-care throughout your day. If you're at work um, and you come out of a meeting and you're really stressed and overwhelmed, you start to feel yourself tensing up, you feel yourself worrying, and you feel maybe your shoulders are tense, maybe your jaw is clenched, you know, take a moment, take a beat, and just practice mindfulness and know that in the present moment, everything is okay. And once you start doing that, practicing that throughout your day, every day, it's a habit that really supports your self-care, your holistic self-care. It supports all of your energetic bodies. I actually made a reel of my favorite take five mindfulness practice. And it's something you can do anywhere. It's not like meditation where you kind of have to sit still and close your eyes. It's something that you can really practice at any moment in the day. So if you want that in your toolkit, check the description down below for the reel or the TikTok. I'll put both links in there. Um, and you can use that anytime you're feeling really, really emotionally charged. I really hope that what I shared with you in this video serves you. I know a lot of us have set goals for the new years or resolutions or we've made vision boards of what we want our life to look like in the next year. So I really hope that this has served you in some way as you're on the journey to growing, to expanding, to becoming the best you that you can be. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new uploads. I'm uploading Tub Talks weekly. I also upload a lot of content on at I Love Sundays on Instagram. So make sure to follow me over there for more personal development and self care tips. It's a community that I'm growing strictly for women who want to build a life where they love Sundays because they're not scared of Mondays. So if you are ready to give up the Sunday scaries, make sure to follow me on there. Um, I'm sharing a lot of useful, valuable content for you. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I hope that we continue this journey together. Sending you all the high vibes on your personal journey.